We are on the eve of United's third round series as they hope to take down another Valley foe and a victory from earlier this season has given the Longhorn some confidence going into the weekend. It was a big two-game sweep for United in the air round as they refused to give in during their matchup with Los Fresnos, even down big in game two. But the guys in orange say this is a mindset that's been developed over the course of the season, and it paid off Friday night. Coach had told us, like, this, this is something we've, we've, some, we've done before. And we, we took that into ourselves, and we just started hitting and hitting and hitting. And the rally came in 6-3. And then the next inning, we came in 6-4. The next thing we just scored the rest of the runs. At the beginning of the season, we weren't doing all that well. But it just started clicking, like, midseason. And we just started picking it up. And now we're here. Here is in the third round of the playoffs, and the last Laredo team left standing, a fact that isn't lost on the Longhorns, especially after a few first-round exits in their recent past. Last year, it was my first year on varsity, making the first round. I thought that was pretty incredible, but now making it in the third round, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty insane. <laughs> it was very, like, I could take it into my heart so much, because like, I've never been here before, my freshman year, first round, second year, first round. This year, uh, third round is very amazing, I feel. These kids have uh, worked uh, a lot, right? They're putting in the work, and, and it's great to see the that the work is paid off. Next up for United is a PSJ18 that they've seen before this season, beating the Bears in a tournament game 12 to nothing. And while that was earlier in the year, it gives the Longhorns confidence that they can do it again. Two totally different teams, but these guys know that they've faced them before and that they can come through with a W. I have a lot of confidence in our hitting this time. Uh, well, not saying that I didn't have confidence, but like, like this time is going to be like, I think we're doing very good on our hitting. we got to stay consistent with it and just keep doing our thing. We do have a bunch of confidence. Um, we've been watching them all year, especially now that we know we're facing them. We've been looking at videos and stuff. We're really confident, I think, going into this game. Now it's about putting it all together. The pitching and defense has been there most of the year, but now the bats must show up as well. And if they could do that, it might mean a trip to the Sweet 16. As obviously, uh, we're playing uh, our best game at the, at the right time, right? And it's great uh, that they're, they're not only these kids deserve, but our community deserves to uh, see this team go out there and perform and go past this round. I have a lot of confidence in us this year, and I think we should go past this round. We haven't really thought about it yet. I'm just taking it one game at a time so far. But, I mean, it, it would be crazy. Here's how the third round schedule shakes out for this best of three series. Game one with PSJA will be tomorrow night at 6 p.m. from Unitrade Stadium. The series will then shift down to the Valley for game two on Friday at the same time. And if needed, they'll meet up in the middle on Saturday afternoon in Roma for a deciding third game.